Welcome to Messy Art here at Bradley Public Library. Today we're gonna to be doing a little painting. We're going to make our very own corn, Indian corn art. So for that today, we're gonna to need some paint. I have red and yellow and orange and some glue and some paper or the back of a cardboard box or anything you want to paint on to make our corn. I'm just using plain white paper. You can use anything. And then we're gonna need bubble wrap. I'm really excited about bubble wrap. I love to paint on that. If you don't have any bubble wrap though, you, you can use a Lego. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So I'm gonna put my camera down on our paper and we're gonna get started. Hi everybody. So here we have uh, some paper. I have a piece of paper here too that I've folded in half. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna draw to make our leaf on our Indian corn. You can just draw a leaf and you're going to make it come down to here without touching. So I'm not gonna finish that in. So I'm just gonna cut that leaf and you can have your little one practice cutting because it's not a big deal how close they get it. We just want the general idea. And they can practice their cutting. We're just not gonna cut where the crayon is so that we have what looks like a V over here. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna color it. I'm gonna move my paper so I don't get. And I'm gonna color it green all over. You could use paint on this or markers. I like crayons. I'm gonna do some dark green on there too. There we go. So that's, we're gonna save this now for later. So we're gonna set that aside and we are going to paint with some bubble wrap. It's one of my favorites. If you don't have bubble wrap, we are also going to use Legos. But bubble wrap is a lot of fun. So to start with our bubble wrap, we're gonna take it and we're gonna put, it, there's a smooth side to it and then there's a bumpy side. And we're gonna paint on the bumpy side and it's so much fun. We're just gonna paint all over and we're gonna add some orange paint in here and some red paint and you can tap it in because if we brush all the colors together, sometimes we get, we would have all orange because red and yellow make orange. So we can paint all over. So much fun. I love painting on bubble wrap. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to take our piece of paper and we're gonna flip the bubble wrap over the top and I get to smoosh it down. And I can try and pop some of those bubbles. Let's see, ooh, there's one. You smoosh it down and you can peel it off. <gasps> Look at that, oh, isn't that fun? I can put it down again. I could do it again and push down on it. You can even repaint this and paint more on top of it and do it again and again. Because for this art project, it's really about the process and how much fun it is. If you don't have bubble wrap, or you wanna wait until you get bubble wrap again, you can use, oh, I got a little bit of paint there, that's okay. You can use a Lego. So I'm gonna take my Lego, not on the flat side, but I'm gonna do it on the bumpy side, and I'm gonna stick it right into some paint, and then I'm gonna to get to tap all over my paper with that. I'm gonna get a little bit of red in there from that paint that spilt on that paper. I'm gonna get some red over here. Oh my goodness. I love how that looks too. It's littler dots than on the bubble paint, but it's all right, it all works. I like how it looks. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more orange paint because I kind of used it all on my brush. So I'm gonna come in and grab some orange. So, and I'm gonna just keep tapping all over my paper. Now I do wanna let you know with little ones, it may not look this perfect because they might slide it. 
all over and that's okay because it's all about them exploring and painting and being an artist all right doesn't it look cool we're gonna let these dry here this one's a little bit drier so i'm gonna use this one and we are going to cut a shape now i could cut probably three or four pieces of corn i'm just gonna cut one and a corn is like a long oval how many of you ate some corn on the cob this summer, right? Long oval. Ta-da! Look at that. Now, when we ate our corn on the cob, it was all yellow, but Indian corn that comes out in the fall sometimes is more yellow and orange and reds and different colors. I'm going to put some glue on here. Now I just have glitter glue. It can be a glue stick, it can be any Elmer's glue. And I'm just going to put it right around here at the bottom of the V and all the way up because it's not gonna go over all the leaves. It's just gonna be just that section right there. And I'm gonna set it on here and press it down. Oh, I did that a little crooked, didn't I? There we go. All right. There we have our Indian corn. Have fun making this. Enjoy everybody.